Hello, welcome back, and good evening, fellow Earthlings. This is Mr. Abe from the Ashcroft Observatory and Southern Utah Mobile Planetarium. Today, we're going to be talking about the moon and the Earth. And I've got a zoomed in on the moon here, and I'm going to get rid of the stars, so when I speed up in just a minute, it doesn't, uh, doesn't make things go crazy. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, and we'll sort of fill our screen here, and then we're going to start talking about the moon. So the moon goes through phases, right? We all know that. The moon goes through phases as it goes around the Earth. And I can show us that with the fast forward here. We'll see you go to the full moon, waning gibbous into third quarter, waning crescent into new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous right back around to full moon. Go ahead and freeze frame here. The moon just went through 28 days. That's how long it takes. Uh, fast forwarded through that amount of time to see all the phases of the moon. And here's the big quiz question. The light that we see, or I guess, here's a better question. As I turn the, oh, hang on. As I turn this, this shadow here, you know, the shadow that's covering up this side of the moon, is that the moon's shadow or is that the Earth's shadow? What do y'all say? Earth's shadow. So it's the moon's shadow, isn't it? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. So that's a good guess, and that's one we get a lot, is people think that it's the, uh, the, sh the shadow of the Earth. But we actually only see the Earth's shadow on the moon during a lunar eclipse, right? And you can tell it's it's got a, a different shape than the phase of the moon and a different color, typically. Um, but what we're seeing right here is the moon's shadow. We're just seeing, uh, because of the position of the moon relative to the Earth and sun, this side here is facing towards the sun, and this side is facing away from the sun. So the sun would be over here. Here's the moon, there's the bright side, there's the dark side. Uh, despite the, the common figure of speech, there's no such thing as the dark side of the moon, right? At least not permanently. Because when we watch it sped up here, we're seeing the same side facing us, right? As it goes around us, it's like I mentioned um, in another point, it's tidally locked. That same, there's a near side of the moon, so as it spins, it's also turning. So the same side faces us, and there's a far side of the moon. And there's actually only about uh, 10 people who have ever seen the far side of the moon with their own eyes. Can you get a postcard? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't think there's a postcard for it. Yeah, we see these same features here. Is the same side facing us, it's just a different side that's lit up or shaded. Um, and then we get cool things like a lunar eclipse, where the actual shadow where it passes through the actual shadow of the Earth. And because it orbits sort of wobble, right, that doesn't happen every month. Um, it just happens every every once in a while when it just happens to line up. And then we get things like a solar eclipse, which we had one of those a couple of years ago where it passes in between the Earth and the Sun. And it's actually just sort of a total uh, total fluke anomaly that optically, visually, the, uh, the Moon and the Sun appear to be the same size in the sky. There's, there's actually no physical reason why that should be necessary, but just because of the distances and sizes involved, it happens to be the case, and it's really cool as far as things like a solar eclipse. So, okay, question about yes. the solar eclipse. So when that happens, is that typically lighting up the other side of the moon that we're not seeing, or is it mm -hmm. lighting up that side? No, of the yeah, side? it's lighting up the side that we're not seeing. And every time it's a new moon, like when I'm going through this cycle, when the whole moon appears dark, 
the other side, the side that we don't see is lit up. And yeah, in a, in a solar eclipse is the same way. A solar eclipse is a very special kind of new moon, just in the way that a lunar eclipse is a very special kind of full moon. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Because it's not, as far as its position is concerned, it's a full moon. But as far as the way that it looks, it's dark. And now, let's see here. Um, I'm going to do something pretty cool here. Something I do sometimes in the Star Dome that's, like everything else we're doing, a little more impressive in Star Dome. Uh, I'll turn the atmosphere back on, the ground back on. I'll reset us to ground based mount. And so I'll get this set up to. there and now I am going to teleport us to the moon everybody hold your breath <gasps> no I'm kidding you're fine <laughs> all right it took Neil Armstrong six days it took us six seconds here we are on the surface of the moon um, it's a panoramic image it's actually a real panoramic photograph taken by the Apollo 17 astronauts, the last people before present date, there may be some in the future, but the last people currently to ever have been to the moon and back, right there, one of those Apollo 17 astronauts. But us being on the moon, we are in a perfect position to, get to the ground there, look at the Earth. Now there's the Earth, and as I speed up fast enough, we'll see it go through the days, and I speed up faster, we'll see it go through months, and you'll notice something. Do you see it? You turn the chair forward. That the Earth, when you look at it from the moon, goes through phases. Just like the moon, when you look at it from the Earth, goes through phases. So we'll slow this down and see if we can't stop it just in the right place there. I'll zoom in a little bit here and we can see I'll pan over and if you know your geography there's North America right there. We've got Mexico there, Florida, Cuba, these California's over there, there's Baja Peninsula, which means right about there is Cedar City, Utah. Everybody say hi us. Hi. hi. Okay, everybody say bye us. Bye. bye. And that's all for this episode. And next time, we will get talking about deep sky objects. Till then.